The Linux world is huge. It's filled with countless distributions, each with its own philosophy. For years, giants like Ubuntu and Mint dominated the scene, especially for newcomers. But a change is happening. A distribution based on Arch Linux is quietly or maybe not so quietly taking over. That distribution is Manjaro. Its popularity is surging and for good reason. It's not just another pretty face in the Linux crowd. It's a powerhouse that balances cutting-edge features with user-friendliness. This isn't an accident. Mandro was designed to solve a specific problem, making the power of Arch accessible to everyone, without the headaches. So, what's the secret sauce? Mandro takes the best parts of Arch Linux, the speed, the power, the massive software availability, and puts a friendly intuitive layer on top. It smooths out the rough edges that often scare new users away from Arch. You get the performance and flexibility of a highly optimized system, but you don't need to be a command line wizard to get it running. This unique combination is attracting a massive new wave of users. People who were once intimidated by Linux are now finding a home in Manjaro, and experienced users are switching over for its convenience and stability. One of Manjaro's killer features is its rolling release model. So what does that mean? Traditional Linux distributions like Ubuntu use a point release system. You get a big update every six months or every few years. In between, you only get security patches. With a rolling release you get updates as soon as they are ready. This means you always have the latest features, the newest kernel, and the most recent security fixes. But wait, isn't Arch a rolling release? And isn't it known for sometimes breaking? Yes, and that's where Manjaro is brilliant. Manjaro adds a testing layer. Before updates from Arch reach you, they are held back in Manjaro's own repositories for a week or two. They are tested by the community and the development team to ensure they are stable. Getting started with Manjaro is incredibly simple. The installation process is one of the best in the Linux world. Using the Calamares installer, you are guided through a clean graphical interface. It's as easy as installing Windows. You can set up your language, keyboard, and time zone with a few clicks. The installer also handles partitioning, which is often the scariest part for new users. Once you install it, you get to choose your desktop environment. Manjaro officially supports XFCE, KDE Plasma, and GNOME, but the community supports many more, like Cinnamon, Mate, and Budgie. Let's talk about software. This is where Manjaro truly shines, and the magic word is AUR. The AUR, or Arch User Repository, is a massive, community-driven repository for Arch-based systems. Think of it like a gigantic app store that contains almost any piece of software you can imagine. If a program isn't in Manjaro's official repositories, it's almost certainly in the AUR. This includes everything from mainstream applications like Google Chrome and Spotify to niche development tools and obscure games. You don't have to hunt down installers on the web, you can get everything from one place. Accessing the AUR in Manjaro is incredibly easy. Manjaro comes with a graphical software manager called Pamok. With a simple click of a button in the settings, you can enable AUR support. Beyond software, Manjaro offers deep customization. It's a system that lets you make it your own. From the desktop theme and icons to the system kernel, you have control. Manjaro even has its own hardware detection tool that helps you easily manage different kernels. Do you have brand new hardware that needs the latest kernel? You can install it with a few clicks. Whether you want a minimalist setup for focused work or a flashy, animated desktop that looks like something from a sci-fi movie, Manjaro gives you the tools to build it. One of the biggest headaches for any Linux user, new or old, is hardware support. Finding and installing the right drivers, especially for things like graphics cards and Wi-Fi, can be frustrating. Manjaro solves this problem with its hardware detection tool. During installation and on first boot, Manjaro automatically scans your system's hardware. It then identifies and installs the necessary drivers for you. This includes proprietary drivers, like those for NVIDIA graphics cards. Of course, no operating system is perfect and sometimes you will run into problems. When that happens, Manjaro has your back with a strong supportive community. The official Manjaro forums are friendly, active and filled with knowledgeable users. In addition to the forums, the Manjaro Wiki is an excellent resource. It's packed with well-written documentation and guides that cover everything from basic setup to advanced system tweaking. So, why is Manjaro taking over? It's simple, it offers the best of all worlds. For beginners it provides an easy installation, automatic hardware setup, and a user-friendly interface that makes switching to Linux painless. For advanced users it offers the power and flexibility of Arch, access to the AUR and deep customization options, all without the tedious manual configuration. 
It's a stable, rolling-release powerhouse that respects your time. Manjaro isn't just another Linux distro, it's a new standard for what a desktop operating system should be. It's a fantastic choice for anyone.